Hey guys, I just want to do a quick turbo explanation. This turbo came out of my RX-7 here uh, that I'm doing a, a rebuild on. Just want to do a quick uh, explanation here how the turbo works. Uh, it's a pretty cool process. Uh, what a turbo does, of course, is it uh, compresses air into your intake uh, and allows you to get more air into the combustion chamber which allows you to put more fuel into the combustion chamber and allows you to have more power. This is not free power though. As your exhaust, this is the header, the exhaust that comes from the engine will come through your header and it will go through your turbo and it'll spin and then it'll begin to come out the exhaust. As that happens, what is what's going on is your this shaft is connected to it on the compressor side, and it is spinning while your exhaust is going through that. All right. Now you can think of this as like a gear. It's not just free power. Okay, you're getting a whole lot more exhaust pushing through on the other side than you're actually getting air pulling in on this side. But as it spins faster and faster, and it's kind of like a gear. Like if you was to try to start your car off in third gear and uh, let out on the clutch it kind of takes it a little bit to get it started that's how this is it takes a little bit of power to get that thing to flow in but once it does it begins to pull air through and push the air through here which will be shot into your uh, intake on your engine and it will allow you to get more air in the combustion chamber more fuel more power all right so that you have that process as it starts to spool out once you get to high rpms you get a lot of gas pushing through there and you get that thing spooled out and it begins to get, be easy for the exhaust to turn it once it starts to spool and uh then you get that compression of the air into the combustion chamber more fuel all right uh it would if it if this was all it was then you would begin to build probably say 50, 50 pounds of boost or so it would just keep building once you got higher RPMs, but that's where your wastegate comes in. Wastegate, say you set it 15 pounds, this thing will open up and it will allow the exhaust to bypass your turbo. It begins to come through here and then out your exhaust, bypasses your turbo and keeps you from spinning uh, in, in, you know, infinity boost, uh, 50 pounds or whatever. So it's not free power, but it is more power. Um, and of course, one other thing to address is that uh when this thing is spooled out and this thing is turning so fast that you mind can't even comprehend it you're throwing a bunch of air into the engine say you want to change gears in your car you hit 8,000 rpm change gears in your car you still have this turbo still pushing air it's still pushing air into the intake well what happens is your throttle body will close and what happens is you have a sensor that will tell the uh, blow-off valve which is really cool and I love about turbos it will tell the blow-off valve to open up and it releases the pressure that that turbo has created in the uh, induction of your car and the intake of your car and of course makes the awesome or whatever sound that, that your blow-off valve will make uh, and that's in order to uh, release that that uh, pressure and not blow your pipes off your your car so pretty cool how these things work I've always loved them and uh, it's not free power um, thanks to the gasoline though you're getting a, a lot more a lot more exhaust pushing through the exhaust side of the turbo than what you are pulling oxygen in but it doesn't take as much oxygen um, to burn fuel but it, you can uh, definitely get a lot more power so all right that's basically the best I can do appreciate you guys watching and hopefully I didn't get nothing wrong but that's basically what I know about them and hopefully it'll give you a basic understanding of how they work. And uh, if you got any questions, just let me know. Thanks.